It's Tuesday. It's 1.45. This is Innuendo Bingo. All right, over there? Aye. It feels weird doing it somewhere different. Does it that does make a bit. sense? Like, yeah. I've got a beautiful view. Oh, you're sitting in front of me. Well, no, I mean behind you. Yeah, look past me. that. Oh, right. Yeah, I see you all the time. Yeah. Okay, so we've got clips which people have been sending in. Thank you for these over the last seven days. And Becky is back on Innuendo Bingo, which is good news. Welcome back. Good. I'm slightly nervous now because I know Chris has had a lot of practice whilst I've been off. With other women. Especially Rachel <laughs> off of Countdown. I watched that video. Yeah, I'm a lot of the... people have. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so watch us now on the Radio 1 website. This is happening. It's Innuendo Bingo. Wow. Ready? Yeah. So ready. Live from Hackney. I've forgotten what to do. Oh, yeah, take the water. Put the water in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Nice big... Fill, mm. fill your cheeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bin is between them. And this has been sent in by Emily in Cambridge and also Antonia off Bury St Edmunds. And it's Davina from Million Pound Drop. I just want to say a big shout out to all the builders um, because it sounds like you came. <laughs> <laughs> That was oh, a good one. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Here we go. She's Here back. We go. It sounds like you came. Nice one, Davina. I love the way it forms a little droplet on the end of your nose. Lovely. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching this at home, bbc.co.uk slash radio one. Get on the website. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. Mm -hmm. Becky and John in Lincoln sent this. It's to the football. That's where we're going next. And it's the Ireland v Spain match. And the ITV commentator has got some big plans for his evening. It's a big call, though, for Trapattoni and a huge night for Cox. <laughs> Sorry. That took, <laughs> that, took a while. that took a while. Delayed reaction or <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. Becky's fine there. I held it. Very good. Oh. Water, please. Right. It's messy here, isn't it? I know. It's going to be... Have to clean up after yourself. It's a big call, though, for Trapattoni and a huge night for Cox. <laughs> Got her second time. And Chris went again. This is essential viewing on the Radio 1 website right now. <laughs> right in the face. I love football. OK. How did that get you second time? I think, oh. I think I'm having delayed reactions. Right. More water. Don't do Hang a whole on. bottle. He's got half a litre here. I came prepared. Uh, More sport now. Right. And it's over to the athletics on Channel 4, where you can learn quite a lot. She's got long, long levers. Uh. No, she didn't like it. Normally you hear a bit of a grunt afterwards if they love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet through. I I've wet myself. No, she didn't like it. Normally you hear a bit of a grunt afterwards if they love it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. That's a good one. OK. Oh. Gareth, thank you for sending this one in. Give yourself 250 Scott Mills points. <laughs> I don't think we can get any wetter. You can try. OK. Oh. Right. Now, did you see Lisa Maxwell on this morning? <laughs> That's no, nice. I did not. Did you? <laughs> no. What sort of a question is that? <laughs> I thought you might have caught it, and therefore you knew what was coming. Right. I've been off, but I haven't been that ill. <laughs> there are limits. Hang on, I'm putting my water. OK. Oh, God, I've just spilled it all over myself trying to undo the bottle. <laughs> right, hang on. Sorry for the hold-up. Here we go. OK. Mm. So, Lisa Maxwell. <laughs> Come she, on, Becky. She's the one Matt Fincham from Grimmy Show fancies off the bill, isn't she? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Just so we're all clear. She was on talking about her new play on this morning. No, I don't make you, but I might go and see this. We play a, a couple who live in a, uh, who are a bit poverty stricken, live in an apartment in New York, and I come home and my husband's got a big cock in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone all right? 
that just happen? And I come home and my husband's got a big cock in the living room. <laughs> like a large hen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know why. Oh, no. It's... Right, it goes on, I'm afraid. Got some you know, more. like when you go on the log flume and then you make the mistake yeah. of going on it first and you get to the theme park and yeah. then you're like, jeans are sticking to you for the rest of the day. I've, that. Got, that. I've got that. Yeah. Oh. Please watch, if you're not already, on the Radio 1 website. It's happening live now from the Hackney Academy. Caroline of Colchester, thank you for this. More football. You know when they put cameras on the crowd and sometimes the crowd don't behave like they'd really want them to at tea time? I wonder what Slavin Bilic is uh, considering there. Deep in discussion. Mm. Well... I'm not sure if that was one of the fans' balls. <laughs> no? Oh, don't just do it for the sake of it! Just felt it had to be done. Blow water, please. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a wet one today, isn't it, Becky? Get on with it. Mm. I'm not sure if that was one of the fans' balls. Next! Very good, well held. Remember Dale Winton's National Lottery Quiz Show? It was quite shocking at times. So I'm going to go with head. You're fairly convinced the answer is head. Yes. Shall I accept head? <laughs> Chris! <laughs> I've got Sarah Cox's curly fringe. Oh. oh, no, not the fringe. Sam in Worthing and Matt in Leeds. We're over to women's football now and the England-Holland match. Oh, I saw this. Yeah. I know you were telling me all about it, how much you enjoyed it. Come on, take the water, what are you doing? We're on live on the radio and the internet. Now, at the women's football match, the spirits have been slightly dampened. Yeah, you might get me <laughs> yeah. choked up. Your eyes are a little bit moist, so we're going to move on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic dribble there from Huxtable. Well held by Stark. You can't have heard it, play it again. <laughs> a little bit moist, so we're going to move on quickly. No? Not doing it for him? OK, how about this one? As you know, the rules of cricket do baffle me a lot. But how is this allowed, please? Good work by the West Indies, whose fielding has been a little bit erratic today. Some good stuff and some sloppy ones as well, but Bresden's going to be fingered here. <laughs> Peck, you might as well just let him pour water on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, straight in the face. Good aim. Sorry, I've never done that before. Well played. I just got angry. <laughs> Now, I've got four more, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know, is it quite a long one? Well, oh, that was right in the face there. But I think you meant to do that on purpose. It's upper level. OK. Graham and Andy in Dundee. Anyone see Trooping the Colour? What a show. Oh, yes. Kate Middleton was on that. Yeah. And after seeing Trooping the Colour... Few people I know would like to join the household cavalry. But in particular, we take them down to Hook and Beach and uh, we ride them bareback in the waves. <laughs> <laughs> this is an epic episode. <laughs> Troop in the colour. Uh, Troop in the colour, I know, who knew? Okay, three more to go. Oh, I've got through almost 750 mil. I'm about to bosh a litre. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting out of control. Come on. Who likes Escape to the Country? It's good, isn't it? Mm. You do find out a lot about country folk on that show. And in true country tradition, we're bypassing the front door and heading for the back entrance. Not even one, Becky? I knew where that was going. Yeah. See, that's Becky's an old pro. Look, she's like, yeah, I knew exactly what I'm it was going to be. I'm from the country. I know all about that sort of thing. I know you do. <laughs> um, OK, two more. Back to the football now, thanks to Chris in Liverpool for spotting this one. Where it's not just the results that have frustrated the island manager at this tournament. You know, I'm sure he said he wanted more penetration. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic dribble. You know, I'm sure he said it. He, he wanted more penetration. <laughs> How can you keep that in? Well held. Oh. Well held, Huxtable. Well held. And um, one more. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, more water, please. A nice big I'm going to do gulp. as much as I can. Niall in Surrey, thank you for spotting this. It's our very own Fern Cotton, who really did let us into her private world this week. Ah, oh, my favourite, Lana Del Rey. She's going to come into the studio for a chat. I totally adore her. 
morning, I might gush quite a lot when I'm chatting to her. <laughs> <laughs> right, game over. Yeah, this has gone wrong. Morning, I might gush quite a lot when I'm chatting to her. Now, I hope you all bought some dry clothes. No? Oh. No, you haven't, have you? No. How many times do I say about bringing a change of clothes?